All right, in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about my experience in pediatrics and radiology. So I had six weeks in pediatrics and then just one week in radiology. And I figured that instead of showing you or vlogging the last week of peds, I'm gonna merge it with radiology and describe to you exactly what I went through. Then at the end of the video, I'll give you a comparison of pediatric the specialty versus radiology in terms of how much they earn, how many years of residency, how many people work in that field and so on. Just kind of a broad overview so you understand. And so I learned more about it too, because I'm actually considering one of the two specialties i'll let you think about which one that is and i'll answer at the end of the video all right so i wrote down everything here in terms of what i liked about pediatrics what i liked about radiology and also what i didn't like because you don't have to like everything about medicine and i can 100 percent guarantee that you won't you're just not gonna like it it's a lot of medicine's challenging you know? All right, get into it. Peds, for pediatrics. I really enjoyed working with the doctors and residents, hands down. I mean, it's <laughs> it's only been my first rotation, but they're a joy to be around. Very lighthearted, very fun. Uh, at least the residents I hung out with, some of them were funny, you know, for mo most part. And they were also really helpful. Now, because I'm a third year and this is my first rotation, the residents and the attendings took it easy on me. They helped show me where the gaps in my knowledge were and they pushed me into or out of my comfort zone, which was helpful, helped me grow, helped me develop my communication skills, my researching skills in terms of researching the background of the patient, putting things together, writing notes down, and um, I really enjoyed it. Also, another pro of pediatrics is that since you're working with kids, you don't always have to wear formal attire. You don't have to wear a dress shirt and nice pants. You always have to wear scrubs. So those scrubs are comfortable, but I got to wear some more comfy clothes, kind of like this. I could wear this in pediatrics and be completely fine because with kids it's a completely different ball game you can bring colors into your what are your wardrobe whatever you do whatever you wear one of the residents have bright pink shoes you know who you are if you're watching and so I really enjoyed that where I think with like internal medicine I wouldn't be able to pull that off as much because you gotta look more professional because the age group is a lot different all right, so in terms of what week out of pediatrics did I enjoy the most? And I would have to say that my emergency medicine week was my favorite. Why? Because it's fast paced. You're constantly seeing different diseases, different causes very fast. Also, this is important. Like you don't want to forget about this if you're considering medicine. There's a lot of paperwork. There's a lot of note taking because you have to document everything that you, you hear from the patient, your history, your physical, make sure one for the own patient sake so that they have all the information there but also for liability in case it goes to legal issues and stuff and so the nice thing about emergency from my short experience one week is that you do short histories so you're not writing out long novels long paragraphs everything that they're taking all their issues you just write down their primary issue take a quick history quick physical and that's it whereas in pediatric medicine where the patient is admitted to the hospital you have to take a longer history a more physical exam past medical history you also have to write a discharge summary for when they're leaving and that thing can be very long and so I believe most people are with me on this writing notes is not enjoyable nobody enjoys that nobody likes paperwork or anything along those lines but it's part of the job and you have to do it hence why I enjoyed emergency better than general pediatrics also it was shift work I was on for three days so I went one shift day off another shift day off whereas in general pediatrics it was every single day from 7 45 a.m to about 5 5 30 it was on 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 and that can be so grueling and exhausting something else that i really enjoyed about pediatrics is the fact that i can build rapport with the parents i can't necessarily do that with the patients since they're so young at least the patients i fall they're all babies but i was able to see the same patient for a couple of days and because of that the parents actually learned my name which is you know i'll give them an a plus for learning my name they're talking to them little baby and said oh Tiago's come and do a physical exam and I was like oh wow that was a that was a nice surprise Does anybody hear that she said my name Tiago on top of that you get to see the progress of the progression of the patient you get to see the little baby improve you get to see the parents emotional roller coaster whether it's good or bad fortunately I had some of the better cases but at the same time I saw some parents cry for other patients and it broke my heart and so you definitely do have more of an emotional roller coaster in pediatrics but the Poor building is nice. 
Now, a couple of cons here for pediatrics for me were that young children can be very difficult to deal with since you're a stranger, they're gonna cry. That's part of the game, it's just, just the way it is. Two, pediatric medicine was very heavy two weeks. So I mentioned that we're on from 7.45 to 5.30. Very heavy, time consuming, emotionally draining. Not that I cried, but it's just you get home and you're exhausted. And then number three, the treatment for the same disease in different age groups, right? Whether you're a neonate, a one month old, an infant or a teenager. If you have a UTI, but they're in different ages, it's gonna be different treatments, different bacteria, all that. So you gotta know a wide range of things now. That applies to pretty much a lot of specialties that you have to know you know nuances but pediatrics is notorious for that because each age group grows differently reacts differently and they're in a different phase of life hormonally as well all right on to radiology all right let's talk about radiology i'm in a darker room which is very fitting because radiology is always in a dark room not always but most of the time so the reason why i'm not giving you a vlog about radiology is because i didn't really do much i didn't do much i just watched the residents i watched the doctors look at images and so what my day looked like is that at 8 30 i would be in the hospital either at the general or the civic here in ottawa and i would page a doctor page a resident find them go to the room and then I would sit behind them and look at them interpret images so on Tuesday it was the emerging department so I got to see a whole bunch of abdominal CT some head CTs anything that came in it was a fellow and she taught me the ropes in terms of what she was looking at and what I should be looking for a uh, really nice person really nice fellow the next day I was on MSK film so at the general I shadowed a resident and a doctor and I just looked at fractures a lot of bone fractures dislocations and a a lot of degenerative processes such as osteoarthritis and you can see that on an x-ray then on thursday i was back at the civic for neuro ct so i watched some fellows interpret ct scans of the brain of the spine anything neuro and then on friday i got to shadow a doctor interpret chest x-rays chest cts chest mris it was all about the chest and the doctor had a pretty cool australian accent might so when i talked to him i could pick it out right away there's a little bit of a south african twang to it well, it was pretty cool um, and we had a great conversation i really focused on asking him lifestyle questions about radiology rather than just learning about radio just taking a quick little break here i love the massage gun for the neck highly recommend it all right so the next part that we're going to talk about is pros and cons of radiology so the first pro that i could think of is that it's faster paced not so much in the sense like you're running around it's it's a thrill fast paced in the sense that you see many cases very very fast because radiologists can interpret these images a lot faster and you don't have to sit and listen to a patient history or do a physical exam you just scan through literally you're scanning through all these images at different degrees you dig dictate a lot of them just dictate what they're thinking into the computer and then boom you're done on to the next case so it's very fast paced in that sense but there's a balance because you're in a dark room like this and you're always sitting down i mean they have a stand-up desk just like i do so they can stand up but yeah physically not fast paced at all pro number two is that you're constantly talking to other physicians in different specialties because you're a radiologist you have to be able to interpret all sorts of imaging so you're gonna get paged by orthopedics by cardiac by rest whatever procedures they're doing and they need an x-ray they need to make sure that a tube is in the right place they need to make sure that a joint is not dislocated they get called all the time and so you get that multidisciplinary approach of multiple teams working together to help this patient out and you're the middleman you're the middleman looking at the image and then communicating that to the other specialists the third pro that I could think of is that you can do procedures now I did not see any procedures because I was just in the room observing skin scans but you can do interventional radiology and even you don't have to subspecialize into that you can do other procedures that you're going to be trained as a radiologist and that's really fun i think procedures is a very nice way to break up the monotony of sitting at the desk taking patient history doing procedures is fun you're using your hands not every specialty does that on the con side of things is that you don't get to follow up with your patients so one you don't have a good rapport with your patients because you don't meet them you just interpret the image and then the other specialists deal with it. Two, you don't follow up with them. So let's say you did interpret the next ray or MRI properly. You don't find out if they ever survive, what happened to them. Now, remember, I only had one week in radiology. I'm sure you could message the specialist that was taking care of them and find out what happened. But, you know, it's not like a family doctor or a pediatrician where you follow the patient.
patient for a lot longer and you get to see them be discharged from the hospital. The second con for radiology is that, I already mentioned this, is that you don't really have that rapport with patients. If you're doing procedures, you get to see patients, you get to see them feel better right away. Let's say if you do a joint injection, something family doctors can also do if you're trained. That's a nice part. You do see immediate results there, but for the most part, you don't see that longevity of a patient relationship. If that doesn't matter to you, yo, go for radio. That's all you. But if you do want to be with patients a lot longer, maybe radio isn't the best choice. But keep in mind, we're only done radio for one week and I didn't do much. I just looked at images. So my perspective is very skewed and I don't understand the full spectrum of what radiology is. So if you're a radiologist watching this video, DM me on Instagram. Let's make a video together. And the third con is that there's not a lot of physical action. So I think that the fast paced movement of looking at different images, different cases, very stimulating. You're solving multiple puzzles throughout the day, helping people is fun. But would I be able to do this long term? And I always try to put myself in a position of what's Tiago at 45, 50 years old going to be like? Am I going to be able to do this for the rest of my life? Could I do radiology? Yeah, it seems, seems pretty chill, seems pretty fun, but I would be in a dark room for most of the time. Could I handle that? Je ne sais pas. I would have to ask lots of people. Fortunately, I did get to meet a radiologist who's Brazilian and there's a couple of Brazilian radiologists here in Ottawa. So I'm going to be asking more and more questions because I want to be able to make an educated decision by next year in my CARMS application. All right, so let's go into the comparison of pediatrics and radiology. For you and for me, I got to learn a couple of things while doing some of the research as well. But before we go into that, in order to make this specific video, I went through six weeks of pediatrics, one week of radiology. I spent a couple hours writing this script and then shooting it. So I would appreciate it if you hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell and drop a comment down below. Would you choose pediatrics or radiology and why? All right, so let's break it down between the residency length, total population, employment and satisfaction, gross pay, age breakdown and gender breakdown. Now let's talk about residency length. Now at baseline, pediatrics is four years and radiology is five years. Now remember that that's not it. You can go a lot longer than that. In pediatrics, you have subspecialties. Same with radiologists. All of them have subspecialties. In pediatrics, you can become pediatric cardiologist, respirologist. You can become a neonatologist and so on. And it could take you, you know, four, five, six, seven years, however many fellowships you choose to do. In radiology, there's also other fellowships you can do. You can do interventional radiology. You can do CT neuro, which is two years of fellowship beyond your residency. And so just that's a baseline, four years and five years. It takes a while. Let's talk about the total population. How many of these doctors in Canada are there? And I believe this statistic is from around 2017, 2018. So as of 2018 roughly there's 2613 pediatrician and there was 2556 radiologists so close but there's more pediatrics in terms of employment and satisfaction ooh, this one's different 78 percent of pediatricians are satisfied with their job whereas only 51 percent of radiologists are satisfied with their job now i did not do a deep dive in regards to how they did the survey when they did it, what kind of questions. This is just to take it at face value and you can do your own research. And I would always ask a radiologist and pediatrician to see what their perspective is because people's journeys differ a lot. And from the radiologists that I talked to this week, they really love their job. Now, in regards to the gross pay, this one was challenging to find a solid number that kept coming up over and over. I had to look at a couple websites. So instead of giving you just the average, I'm gonna give you a range. And in this range, range, you can go far beyond that range. So pediatricians can earn anywhere between $160,000 to $350,000. Now, I believe they can earn a lot more, especially if you subspecialize or how many call shifts you take. So they can make more than that for sure. If you're a pediatrician and you want to collab and do a video together, let's do it. And you can share your experience as a pediatrician. And radiologists, on the other hand, can earn anywhere between $100,000 to $500,000. Now, it was very difficult to find a solid number for radiologists. Don't know why maybe I'll look into it in the future but I do believe they can earn a lot more than that when I talked to a fellow this week he said that radiology can earn anywhere between 700,000 and 1.3 million depending on how many calls they take where they work how often they work their subspecialty all of that so 
remember, they earn a lot of money. In general, pediatricians and radiologists earn a good amount of money to make a decent living. And then it comes down to lifestyle, interests, what fulfills you the most. So let's move on to age. 41% of pediatricians are older than the age of 55, and 38% of radiologists are older than 55. So radiologists tend to be a little bit younger than pediatricians by the statistic in around 2018. And for pediatricians, 61% are females, whereas 39% are males. And radiologists, 32% are female, whereas 68% are males. So radiology has more males, whereas pediatricians has more females. Makes sense going along with their personalities and how they function. So after this past week, I can comfortably say that I'm interested in radiology, that I won't be crossing it off my list. Now, my whole goal for third year right now is to get a sense of each rotation. And after that, I'll either cross it off my list in terms of interests or keep it on there. So radiology is staying on there. But as for pediatrics, I don't want to become a pediatrician. That is not for me. I don't want to do the, the five years just for pediatrics. I think I would prefer going to family medicine and getting a mix of pediatrics and also adult. If you like this video, then you're definitely going to like this one here and make sure to share this video with your friends. Remember to like and comment and I'll see you in the next one.